Well, hi everyone and welcome to the channel. So um, as you can see here, I'm out on location with my HEQ5. This is my portable rig and it's the first time I've been out on location with this rig. I've been out here before with the DSLRs but not this um, deep sky setup. So tonight I plan to try for the very last time to see if I can photograph the comet. Yeah, you know the one, and the one everybody's talking about at the moment. So um, I don't really know how I'm going to do that yet. I'm going to try and um, put in the coordinates here. I'm using the ASI Air and uh, just see if I can find it. So I'll show you what I plan to do. So what I plan to do is using this app here that's called uh, the Sky Live. It's showing me the coordinates exactly at the moment of where the comet is. So I'm now going to try and go into my ASI Air and put those coordinates in. Right, so this is how you do it. You go into target and top right you click on the three little lines and you go down to my favourites. Now if you look at the bottom right it says add. So click on add and here and you can put in the RA and the deck of the comet or whatever it is you want to photograph if it's not already in the ASA catalogue. So here uh, right ascension 17 hours 8 minutes and 23 seconds I've got to do this quickly because this is obviously moving all the time now the deck is 03 uh, 3 minutes 24 seconds ok that's done that's in. So now I'm going to try and go to. Right. So the rig is now moving around to those coordinates that I've just put into the ASI Air. So let's see if it can actually find this comet. I'm just going to put the light out and uh, we will see. It's very low. I'm hoping it's going to find it. So he's trying to centre the target now. Okay, so this target is centered. This will be interesting. Wow, there it is. It's actually found it. Look at that. It is quite cloudy. I can see a lot of cloud. That's a shame. I'll get the guiding going in a minute and uh, I'm going to do a, a focus, an auto focus routine. And then I shall set up a sequence. Yeah, there's a lot of cloud there now. You can see that cloud. But it's really showing the tail. There's a car coming down the driveway. It's going to mess my focus routine up. That's a little annoying. Yeah. That's not going to be good. Not much I can do about it though. Right in the middle of a focus routine. Oh dear. That doesn't look right. I hope it's all the cell of that. Yeah, that's starting to look better. We're back to complete darkness again. I'd say we're nearly there. I'm going to set up uh, a sequence in the auto run here. So if you click on where it says preview and then auto run, click these three little lines here. And I've got a sequence already set up that's ticked. Exposure is going to be 120 seconds, gain 100, repeat 30, and hit OK. And let's go back to this screen and hit start. So I'm, I've now started a sequence going of 30 subs at two minutes. Would you believe it? I just started the sequence going. And there's another car coming down on the very first sub. It's ruined that. What a nightmare. This is the most traffic I've seen down this lane in a long while. Well, by the look of that, I don't think I'm going to get any more. That's 10 of 30, and I've lost a comet completely in the cloud there. And uh, the stars, well, they're not stars, they're little lines. It's guiding at 1.03. 
but there's so much cloud, it's just playing havoc with it. I really don't think I'm gonna get any more out of this. I let this last sub finish, another 52 seconds, um, and then I think I'm gonna pack it up, because that cloud, I think, is getting thicker. It's not gonna get any better. So, um, yeah, it's unfortunate I tried. If we didn't have any cloud, I'm sure I could have got a really nice image out of that. But anyway, um, I've shown you how to put in the coordinates for a target that's not in the ASI Air catalogue. It's quite easy to do, I've done it before. I've not done it with a comet before, but it actually works, so that's great. So yeah, it's definitely no time to pack up. I've stopped the rig. I'm now gonna send it back to the home position. And I'm gonna pack that up. There's no point in continuing to take uh, images because there's just so much cloud around. I actually got probably eight three minute subs. I'm gonna have to try and stack the eight that I've got and hope that that's enough to get a nice image. So I know this was a really short video and thanks so much for watching. This was really unplanned actually. I didn't know that I was gonna be bringing this rig up right until the last minute. So um, I'm pleased that I tried it. I managed to do what I set out to do but the cloud spoiled things so anyway um i hope you liked the video and again thanks for watching thanks to all of my subscribers you really are much appreciated and if you like this kind of thing and you're not subscribed yet then please hit that subscribe button tick the little bell and uh, give me a thumbs up and also leave me a comment i will reply to all my comments so uh, thanks again and i wish you all clear skies